Ladies and gentlemen, today we say goodbye to the pre-recorded previews as I am back recording them on time, not miles ahead of time, not three weeks before the games actually happened. I'm back from Turkey, boys and girls. Back, you'll get proper, proper videos from now on. Um, there was supposed to be a Premier League prediction video go up on deadline day, but it didn't go up, so you'll get an updated one of that from me very, very soon. But anyway, let's crack on away from that and let's just jump straight into the team news for Hull City versus Bristol City. It's only the Hull City one. Captain Eric Lehigh remains injured and could be out of action until after the international break. George Honeyman should be available after missing the 1-0 loss to Blackburn. Callum Elder is closer to being match fit but probably won't be available this weekend. Angus McDonald is back in full training but isn't yet an option for Grant McCann. Now what do I think? Just so you know, I've kept up with the, I've kept up with everything as much as I could while I've been in Turkey. The Wi-Fi was appalling out there. Honestly, it only worked at half past midnight. <laughs> it was awful. And I watched the Blackburn game. Well I, was, well, I went out for my tea. It was on my last night. I went out and then came back to my hotel. And I was screaming at the end. I wasn't screaming at the entertainers. I love Charlie, Nico and Emre. They were class. But, um... Yeah. I just said, can you stick this on? Because they had the Champions League on. So I was just like, can you put that on? I wish I'd never watched it. We were shocking in that second half. I know we missed a penalty in the first. <laughs> we never even looked like scoring. Yeah, their goal shouldn't have stood because they were obstructing the keeper. Uh, but Mackenzie, Robbie, you should have done a bit more there. So not just stand there and, and gawp at it going in. Like some, like this lasso was sat in front of me on the plane. L like, must have been about, what, 10? Just on the knees, always looking back at what I was doing. I'm like... Stop it. I'm trying to go to sleep. I don't want you glaring at me. Thanks. But, uh, yeah, that's what Robert McKenzie was doing. Anyway, we're poor against Balkburn and need to defend better and take our chances. Yep. T first pre-recorded preview back. No, first non-pre-recorded preview since the Swans you on. <laughs> Boys, there's already a typer. Stephen Kingsley is completely awful. McCann needs to play Fleming until Elder is match fit because Brandon impressed in the Carabao Cup and Kingsley has been poor all year. He has, hasn't really worked out for Kingsley at, at the KCOM. He just hasn't. And with their attack, yeah, Fleming's inexperienced, but he's at least showed that he's capable of competent defending. Kingsley gave away the free kick that they scored from. from Kingsley was poor against Swansea. Um, talking to people after the game against Reading, it was Paul then. Didn't play against Tranmere, coincidentally, that's when we play well. Um, it was better against Brentford, but not much better. Against Blackburn, it was Paul, so... Stee, so it sent out. Um, head-to-head -head battles, gone for our two centre-backs, Jordy and Reese. Up against Andreas Weiman and Benick Afobe. It'll be tough. It'll be tough. And if Weiman's coming down the right, if he's out on the right, I'm not sure what formation Bristol City are playing, but if Weiman's out on the right and Kingsley's playing, Kingsley's just going to get bullied. And it'll just make himself look even worse. But yeah, um, Jordi and Reese versus Andreas Weiman and Benick Afobe have gone for us to key battles. Now we're going to go on to some club news because there's a lot I've missed, so I just need to put a lot of it in this preview. We're starting with deadline day-ins. Matthew Pennington arrived from Everton on a season-long loan. We have got an option to buy, to buy both him and Josh Burler if we want to. Leonardo de Silva Lopez arrived from Wigan. Um, Josh McGuinness arrived from Bolton. We, and it's sad what has happened to Bolton, isn't it? The ma the manager and assistant manager just resigned. I mean, 
in FIFA 20 career mode, they won't have enough players to even play any games. Um, McGuinness, yeah, you're going from one team that's been earned badly to another, but at least you'll get paid here. Um, Callum Elder arrived from Leicester. Now, deadline day outs was just Jacob Greaves going out on loan to Cheltenham until January, where he will join Max Sheaf. Max Sheaf is out there as well. So, yeah, those two can be, those two can keep each other company. Spoken to Jacob since he went to Cheltenham. He said, um, I messaged him when I found out he got his loan move. I was like, well done, Jacob. You'll have, at least you'll have Sheafy there with you. He was like, yeah, should be good. Then I messaged him after he made his league debut and kept his first clean sheet. Same game. Texted him, well done, Jacob, mate. Yeah. He's my guy. <laughs> um, can you not tell? Podcast. Um, anyway, more club news. Squad numbers for the players that signed. You'll have known that when I was recording... Um, all the previews in advance. I didn't know George Honeyman's number. He is wearing number 18. And Matthew Pennington is going to wear number 25. With Callum Elder wearing 26. And Josh McGuinness wearing 27. With Leonardo da Silva Lopez wearing 37. So the squad numbers now look like that. George Long at number one with Lehigh. Number two, Tafazoli, Device, Burke, Stewart, Milinkovic, Batty, Eves and Terrell, all number three to ten. Grzycki at number 11, Mannion, Ingram, 12 and 13, Dicko, 14, McDonald, 15, Robin McKenzie, 16, 17 is Sean McLaughlin, he went out on loan to um, St Mirren, but I covered that in my reaction to Honeyman signing. Honeyman, 18, Bowler, 19. Jared's still at 20, 21 is Fleming, 22, Henriksen. Update on Henriksen, by the way, he's likely to never play for the club again because he's been replaced and Grant expected him to leave. Um, 23 is Kingsley, Fat, 25, Pennington, 26, Elder, 27, McGuinness. 28 is Max Sheaf when he comes back. 29 is Lewis Ritson, who we'll get onto in a minute. Jacob Greaves at number 30 when he returns. Keen Lewis Potter, 31. Chadwick, Salam, Hamilton and Jacob, 32 to 35, all from the academy. Jackson Irvine, 36, and Leonardo da Silva Lopez at 37. I said we'd cover Ritson. After this, we will, because we released our third kit while I was on holiday, based off the colours of Boothry Park. Um, never, I never went to Boothry Park before it was knocked down, mainly because I wasn't alive. But from what people are saying, the yellow is the same colour as the mould that was on the South Stand toilets. <laughs> now, apparently it's based off like a shop off the back or something. That's what all the people on Twitter are saying. So, lovely kit. Lovely kit. It's out on the day of the game that I'm previewing. Lovely kit. Lovely kit. Now we're on to Ritson. He's joined um, National League North side, I think it is. Blythe Spartans until January. Good luck out there, Ritter. Now for my predicted team, George Long in goal with a back four of Robbie McKenzie, Jolly Device, Reese Burke, and I've gone for Fleming. I've gone for Fleming out of just pure, I want it to happen. I don't think it will. I think he'll stick with Kingsley stupidly, but, you know, I hope Fleming plays. Um, defensive midfield, Kevin Stewart with Dan Batty and Jackson Irvine, the captain in Lehigh's absence in the middle, with Jarrah Bone on the right, Kamel, uh, Kamel, Camille Guzicki on the left with Tom Eves leading the line. The bench. Matt Ingram, Ryan Tafazoli, John Terrell, George Honeyman, um, Josh Burla, Josh McGuinness and Leonardo da Silva Lopez. That's the full team. Now, for my predicted score, I've gone for a 2-1 win. I think we'll have a good start to the game and it'll be the same as Reading. Back to the wall performance in the second half because we are a first-half team, first 20-minute team. So, it'll be back to the wall. George Long will have to make the best saves of his career. Um, yeah, that's the end of the preview. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. That Premier League predictions video will, fingers crossed, be out some point in the next week or so. Um, yeah, see ya then. Ciao.